I might take you to the big boy for the right kind of a cut. We won't have any trouble. But we've got to act quick. Where do we see him? Crescent City. Let's go. Stand where you are, Gordon. Take his gun, Black. So besides recovering the stolen horses, we captured a valuable prisoner. I'll rest better with that varmint in the calaboose. He isn't in jail, Ten Point. We've got him locked in the saddle room out at the ranch. He, he might escape. That's what we want. What? As soon as we can figure a way that will make him lead us to his chief. That's the trouble, Barbara. Once we turn him loose, we don't know where he'll go. He might just ride to some hideout. What we need is a scheme to make the outlaw leader go to wherever you trail Baxter. That's right. But how do we do it? Through the Citizens Committee. We're pretty sure he's a member of it, or gets his information from one. We'll call a meeting of the committee today, and then you can explain. Unfortunately, my prisoner got away. I left him in charge of Miss Meredith's horse wrangler, Martin. He double-crossed me and released Baxter. I hope you brought him to town for trial. He's dead. He reached for his gun when I accused him, and I had to shoot him. What about Baxter? Couldn't you pick up his trail? No. Martin had a note in his pocket written by Baxter, evidently intended for his chief, although it had no address or signature. Have you got the note? No. I left it at the ranch, but it was worthless. Couldn't you remember what it said? It said, uh, tell the chief I'll meet him at the usual hideout. I know who the black whip is. That's more than any of us know. It puts the black whip's life in danger. I'll print a warning to him on the front page. Gordon, on behalf of this committee, I want to thank you for getting back those stolen horses. I don't deserve any thanks after the way I bungled the Baxter business. Gordon doesn't know it, but he delivered Baxter's message to the right party. Yeah. Baxter must be at the lookout mine. Yes, and he knows the Black Whip's name. I'll leave for the mine right now. Right.
mind, Baxter? Are you willing to talk to save your neck? Yeah, I'll talk. I ain't gonna take the rap alone. Get him up, quick. Where did you get that gun? A friend of mine tossed it in the window. Keep him up. I reckon this one isn't full of blanks. You think I'd fall for a gag as old as that? Now you're going with me. Don't try anything or I'll drill you. Get moving. fixed, didn't you? A horse for me to grab and another one for you to follow me. Been a good idea if it worked. You'll wish you'd never thought of it. Get on your horse. Baxter should have been here a long time ago. Unless, uh, unless the whole thing is a trick of Gordon's. If it is, he must suspect somebody on the committee. That's why he didn't show us that note. I bet there wasn't a note. It's a trap. Say, I gotta get out of here before anybody sees me. See if it's clear. Trap Gordon stepped into it himself. Baxter's bringing him in. Good. What's going on here? Who's? It's the chief. Gordon cooked up a story about you escaping with important news. Oh, so that's why he tried to pull that old gun loaded with blanks gag on me. But I was too smart for him. Now, here's the deal, Gordon. You tell us who the whip is if you want to save your life. That won't save my life. Ask your dumb friend to take off the mask. I'll talk to him or no one. All right, you've had your chance.
and get them when they come into the tunnel. Hold it. They move back around the curve. That's a dead end tunnel. They can't get out. We can't get at them either. Oh, yes, we can. Help me get this oil car rolling. Watch the tunnel, Harris.